Welcome back to Yogg's Cast Games Night. I am the Dark Overlord, and I sent my minions out to collect my mother-in-law from the train station in the neighboring valley when they returned with messages of their failure. I questioned them, and I will continue to do so now. You, what is your name? Why didn't you collect my mother-in-law? What happened? Well, Start no at the beginning, young minion. My name's Baldrick, my lord. <laughs> Baldrick? <laughs> Baldrick, yeah, Baldrick the Brave. Now, you took my car. Yes. Uh, and, and you left. Yes. What, what happened? Well, I was driving, you know, because I'm the best at driving. And uh, I gave Martin the map, uh, but he had it upside down. And so we ended up being further south and we wanted to be north. So you went completely the wrong way from the start? Yeah, he sent us the wrong way. Martin, what happened? I'm, I'm sorry, my lord. Uh, the, the map was only upside down because I thought if we turn it that way, that's the way to get back. Uh, but that makes it, sense. Exactly, right? I, I thought it did. Um, but, you know, Ross wanted to pull over to have what he called a good drink. Oh. We, we passed the pub on the motorway and he oh, couldn't my help himself. Oh, you is this a, true, Russ? You caught me at my weakness. You pulled over immediately to have a drink. It's because we're But in, my mother-in-law was waiting. It's because I was thirsty because we were stuck in a barren desert. So at the time I really needed a little tipple. You, but then, oh, uh, you see, you got so off track that you needed a drink. Exactly, but then I Kim see. promised you'd get us out of this mess. Kim, what happened? Oh, my dark lord. I was trying to think of a way to get us out of this situation, but... Baldrick the Brave over there, well, he may say he's brave, but he's actually a bit of a prankster. And uh, <laughs> he put some nails underfoot oh and it God. popped all the tyres on the car, sir. Oh, my God. So you were stuck in the desert in, at the pub, obviously having a drink, uh, with a bunch of tyres. Yes, yes. What's going on, Baldrick? Look, my Lord. What happened? I'll Who's be, to blame? I'll be honest, I thought it was somebody else's car. You say go out there and do dark deeds, so I thought, oh no, I'll get one of those people's cars. Turned out it was the wrong car, but I hired my mate, the Stone Giant, and he pushed us all the way there. He's like, yeah, no problem, mate. Right. So that explains, that explains why you arrived late to pick up my mother-in-law. Yes. Now, tell me what happened with her luggage. Oh, well, actually, actually, I know what happened to that, actually. Uh, uh, someone, uh, uh, stone giant, s stuck it in a grumbling volcano. So. For God's sake, you oh, don't no. trust a stone giant with, with grumbling volcano yes. luggage? Took well, it what, all. We, what, what happened then? What, didn't you there's try no and get going it back? back, sir. There's no going back. It was just It's all in there. He just tossed it back in there, effortless. Yeah, but there was a stone giant. It wasn't me. It was a stone giant. It wasn't any of us. But when I spoke to her, she said, she said she'd managed to get her luggage back. What happened? What happened? Well, who went for the... Who went for the luggage? Who got in the went volcano? To it. <laughs> if I can Who's say, my lord... Well, I think I Kim's was, got a little answer I was point. so dedicated to looking after your mother-in-law and getting her luggage back after I saw these two jokers getting it thrown into the volcano willy-nilly that um, I, I called up the Inquisition and uh, I queued in for hours to talk to the Inquisition and they went and they sorted out the customs, they filled out all the forms and they got it back, sir. Oh, well done, Kim. You have done a good job. However, I heard that the luggage had experienced a great deal of, of trauma and damage and bumping around on the way. Who was in charge of carrying the luggage? Which one of you two did it? It wasn't me, my lord. It was, it was Ross that was in charge of that. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me, my lord. <laughs> Honestly, it's... He decided to try and do two birds with one I stone. I decided to hand it off to the mad scientist who thought he, uh, <laughs> he, thought he could do something clever with it in, in, in his lab. But then he spoke to Baldrick and Baldrick knows the rest. Baldrick does not know the rest, my lord. <laughs> Baldrick is <laughs> firmly put in it. definitely knows the rest. Baldrick, what do you know about this mad scientist? Look, once I realised what he was doing with your dear mother's luggage, all right, I pushed him in a marsh, all right? I got him, I found him, I led him out, my lord. I said, nobody's taken your, your lovely mother's valuable crown. And I said, I'm going to drag him into that marsh. And I kicked him, all right? You know what I did then? I chucked the stone giant on top of him and crushed him in the marsh. He's dead, my lord. Got him right proper. Well done, Baldrick. Well, you won't be happy about this, my lord. You won't be happy about this. A whirlwind came along and wished them back up. They went straight back up and they're out and free. Who? What I on earth? Why did you let this happen? I don't know. I've given you a withering stare. Oh. You terrible man. That man. <laughs> you can't believe you allowed nature. this to happen. <laughs> just well, maybe the bearer of bad news shouldn't have told maybe me. Maybe not. Maybe so, not. So, my mother, but she called me, remember, from the car. So, she was in your car. She had her luggage and they were on their way back. Where it happened next? Why haven't, why didn't she make it back? Let's ask Martin the Navigator. There was a man in the road, my lord. Uh, there was a dull-witted warrior just stood there all willy-nilly. 
And uh, Kim said she'd get out of the car to have a conversation with him, see if we can get him to move out. What there. happened to this dull witted warrior, Kim? Well, it turned out, sir, that the uh, dull witted warrior was actually having an enchantment, and it turned out he was an exotic beauty. And this lot, this lot saw, you know, her assets, and immediately they were like, ooh. Is this true? Go down and look I at was her looking eyes. at her eyes, my lord. You was the whole time. Not you. I couldn't stop looking, so I went into a well. <laughs> you idiot! Have a withering stare! You're a fool! Oh. What are you going to a well for? That's not really helpful. To avoid, to avoid my pervy gaze, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Listen! Lord, but he didn't, Ross didn't know at the time, but... He probably shouldn't uh, scorn him too much because it was actually a window into another world. The well was? The well was a window the into well another world. The well was a world. window into another world. It was, me lord. Wow. Well, well. Well, well indeed, indeed. my lord. It was, it was quite weird, actually. Quite I, weird. I, I missed an appointment. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I found a, but I found a secret passageway and I got out of there. It was fine. Thank God for that. <laughs> but the only thing is, the secret passageway took us to the flying town. A flying town, sir. There's no roads there. We were very lost getting back to the car. And then who else turned up? My mother was waiting in the car this whole time. <laughs> it, when we exactly, because these the jokers world. left the, the well. Well. Down the wishing well. I was still there. Oh, one window to another world. I was sat uncomfortably in the car next to her this entire time. The What's entire this like? We're having an adventure. I was just sat there like... Funny weather we're sat having, there, isn't it? <laughs> you sat there setting up a psycho bomb for your mother. He set up a psycho bomb. He set up a psycho bomb, but he's to blame. What happened? Why did you set up a psycho bomb? Look, Middle, we were there for hours, days it felt like, and I thought, do you want to spice it up a little? She thought I was a bit weird. Did you drop a this in my mother? <laughs> oh, a wizard in the gear. That explains a lot. But when she realised it was a psycho bomb, she was like, yeah, all right, let's try My mother-in-law. I can't believe your attitude to But my lord, she, she loves it. Did she? She's nuts, she's a raver. She's got a glow sticks out and everything. I turn the radio up in the car, we're having a way over time. He's not. Off another dimension. You could go off at any time, sir. Give me that withering stare back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's on it back. He made an explosive device that could blow up your mother. So did you guys get back from this other world that you were in? Well, we did, because I led us back, my lord, down the correct path. Thank goodness for that. Well, he says it was the correct path, but this navigator, being unable to get us even from the original place to the train station, actually took us to the happy village, which again was quite I hate happy. It there. Exactly, it is so happy, there is no evil rule or You'll anything. You'll never believe it, though, we got infested with zombies. <laughs> Instantly. Goodness me. It wasn't very happy at all. We were all hating it. It did me, Lord. We tried to eat our brains. We tried to but fend them off. We saved your mother, though. That's fine. We tried to fend them off, but Enough. Ross hadn't equipped us properly. He gave oh. us a water-soluble sword, and we couldn't do anything. It just phased through him. Ross, is this true? In all honesty, I was drinking quite a lot of dwarvish beer for at the time. For goodness sake, Ross! <laughs> you are to blame for all of this disaster! I was trying to avoid the most I'm putting monster. the lever that puts you into a lava no. pit right now! Oh, you have no. been put into a lava pit and oh. died! Oh, <laughs> other three of you minions better not fail me so badly next time. Yes, Lord. sir. My lord, do you mind if I take your mother out on a date? <laughs> I'd be very, I'd be very, she would enjoy it greatly. Thank you. Take Baldrick. her off my hand. Give Baldrick. her that talisman, she'll love it. Oh, lovely. Give her a lovely talisman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Don't forget to wear a wizard's cloak. <laughs> Protects you in the night. The overlord will change, and one of you will have to now be the overlord. Who wants to be the overlord? You fools! I asked you to guard my treasure room and my magical codpiece, and it's gone missing. Who's responsible for this? Uh, oh, I don't know, oh, my lord. Oh, oh. I'm not responsible at all. I don't think it was any... I think it might have been your cousin, the evil warlock. What was his name? Uh, Brett. Brett the warlock? Yeah. I haven't seen Brett in years. He died of syphilis. He did it, my lord, I and mean, he looks a bit pale in the face, but I think he's back. I think he's returned. I think, actually, my lord, I know. I know who it was, my lord, and I will tell you precisely. It was Ross, the horrible bartender. Oh. He's a filthy stealer, and he steals, drinks all the beer out of the tap. I know, and he's I'm been, normally... He's been gross and gruesome, and, and he was looking for, to wear a filthy codpiece to wear in his filthy sex games. He's this disgusting. True? Norm uh, normally, make me drink. Normally, sire, I'm quite this silent observer, but in fact, at this time, I was reading the Howling Book at the ancient place. <laughs> <laughs> well, you weren't guarding my I treasure was, room. I was, I was nearby. <laughs> well, isn't there an ancient place? But I was in, engulfed in the Howling Books. So. How on earth is that going to help you guard my magical? I mean, Lord, it's got the Howling about Books how a euphemism. Uh, that place is actually filled with succubi. He was there having a right good old time. Oh, it was a pleasure house. I also saw him with another Quite person, sir. House. I saw him with the old squid, sir. Slander. Oh. slander. This is all slander. Yeah, what are you doing? Laying with beasts of various natures. I'm not really sure, but I mean, 
If there's anywhere I want to go, I want to go to the temple in ruins, right? No! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop this terrible... You should be guarding my treasure room, not I know, banging away from half of Middle Earth. I know, Sai, but they're just there, aren't they? But, you know. I saw him, sir, with the squid and the succubi going off to the dark dungeon. He also had your codpiece, sir. We're he talking had about a, him. We're he, still talking about him. He, he, he had it. It's, 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 it's all him, sir. What He's a weird the sexual well, beast. I took the codpiece <laughs> to a place where a guy uses crystal ball to make it even more magical for you, sir. What? What? What is exactly? What are you going to do to get my copies back? You, you're I've all got your you're, copies. You're all responsible he's, for him. He's doing magical things to make you look better, sir. So in how of the lady folk to look more appealing? Okay. If I may, I know a way to make a dimensional portal that will allow us to fetch the copies right now. Excellent. Go and get it. There's a lot of you. Okay. I will hire a flesh golem to help us in our aid. He's really good at <laughs> fighting people, and quite frankly, I just had a nice card that I wanted to play. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest, sir, though, that flesh golem isn't really loyal to your charms, and I fear that the sexual ferocity of smell from your codpiece will inflame him, so we will need to take a heavy chain to ensnare the flesh golem, and that will only delay us because Ross, again, is just trying to delay us from rescuing your magical codpiece. Don't well, listen to me, Lord. I spoke to the Iron Man who said he'd make the codpiece extra special for you. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Man. Mm. Don't listen to him, me Lord. He's been what? whispered to by the possessed girl well, at the not. club. <laughs> you know, you're talking about more women! <laughs> I thought you'd change your ways! <laughs> she told him he, she was a damsel in distress. <laughs> Damn it, Christ! And that was all the story. And that he should take time. a ride on the unstable balloon, whatever well, that means. But, uh, never mind this. I, said, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, sir. Have you, have That's you, all it was. <laughs> That's all it was. Have you, have you got that codpiece then? What happened? Where's the codpiece? You, you, you went to the dimensional I door? I went through, sir, and when I got there, there was a, a, a beast with a thousand tentacles. And I, I Sounds like this man's crotch. <laughs> no. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, but I, I, I started coughing and choking, and it coughed up a hairball. Uh, and and I, I went around and snatched the codpiece, but before I could get out of there with it, Kim came in and snatched it from me. The codpiece? What is it? Well, I, I knew that this one was unreliable, sir, and I was going to bring it back to you uh, forthwith, but unfortunately there was a horrible leakage from the codpiece, so I oh. don't really know what that was about. Why did that stop you? To get this. Well, because it was quite disgusting. And so it you just dropped horrible. it? Well, well, no, sir. Um, you tell me you've never had a horrible leakage before? Uh, I saw her toss it up the ancient tree, sir. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I toss it right up the ancient tree because like, I'm sick of it. It's goopy and horrible. But don't worry, I, I fetched a ladder and climbed the ancient tree, retrieved the codpiece, but as I was coming down the ladder, old fuckface himself <laughs> fuck came along fuck in his unstable balloon, knocked my ladder over, and the codpiece went flying off into the dark forest. Sir. <laughs> well, no wonder he fell off the ladder, sir. He's as drunk as this one. He had a mysterious potion before we left. What was he was topsy turvy all over the shop. He was. A potion. He sent the betrayer towards your your way. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> he's there to take your precious belongings. Well, they're your old betrayers. Don't worry, sir. He's and got a coloured girth. wand. He's mental. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a coloured take wand. Girth away from he's you. trying to me my girth. Girth. It's all right, sir, though I distracted the betrayer with a stupefying object and I rescued your codpiece from the betrayer. And um, I was going to bring it back to you, but uh, your mum rang and um, <laughs> asked if she could wash it. So it, I, I left it's it. With very, she scrubbed I intervened it. with the tiny guy and knowing that you wouldn't want that to happen at all, sir. Well, I love my mother washing my things. Well, not your codpiece, sir. I saw what happened no. to it and I'm quite frankly saving you some embarrassment there. <laughs> That's and the tiny guardian is guarding the codpiece at this moment in time. You're making some sort of slight against the size of my codpiece. A tiny guardian! Well, no, he's, out in, he's wearing it. He's wearing my codpiece? <laughs> he's wearing it, yeah. Is it like a poncho? <laughs> it's like, a, it's, it's huge on him because it's so big and now with iron, it's heavy. Good. If you want to find it, my lord, it's in the corner by the skull. <laughs> Where? It's in the corner by the skull. What, well, the codpiece? It's right over there, my lord. By the, by the dampish cold. wall. If, if, if you That's want. not true. He hid it in the insurmountable wall. <laughs> you didn't. He did. <laughs> I didn't. I tried to, my lord. What did he call? Well, you, you, who are you? I was fuck called face. the fuckface. 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 I had enough of you. No, my lord. Burn. Burn your thousand years. You can be the three. Yeah. You yeah. gave him all the withers and stares straight away. Yeah. One wrong move from fuckface. Fuck this should all be a lesson to all of you. Don't be a fuckface. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Oh my god, oh my. not around. I'm gonna go get my god, he's back from this damp wall now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got oh, no fuck, ammo! Oh fuck, they're all coming! Oh. Shin's got no ammo, just don't worry about him. Oh god! Oh. He jumped you better worry about Come me, bitch! Come here! Have you got a cart? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm in the, I'm in the water. Get him! Get him! I just saw two cops jump off the bridge! <laughs>